speaker is considered to be the final farewell for classmates at the educational institution and usually includes words of farewell, nostalgia, thanks, and inspiration. I don't know if this young man is old enough to have any nostalgia, but he has the other tools down pat. Uh, today's speaker is truly a representative. Uh, we, we hope this is not a farewell. We hope that our speaker, Brooks Toon, will continue to inspire us for years to come. Uh, I did get a chance to speak to Brooks just a couple of seconds, and I just said, Brooks, you know, you got to do a great job, but just use the three Bs. I want you to be brief, I want you to be good, and I want you to be gone back to your seat so we can go to lunch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it is my honor to, to introduce to those Brooks Toon. Dr. Jones. Good afternoon, Dean, dignitaries, graduates, students, family, and friends. I would like to personally congratulate the graduates of the Department of Community Health and the School of Health and Human Services and commend all the award recipients today. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance have not gone unnoticed. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to speak at this reception. My path that has led me to this moment has been more of a zigzag than a straight line, with many U-turns, detours, and dead ends. After graduating with an economics background, I found myself in the finance industry, but I always felt that I would find more satisfying work in the future. I always had this fear of returning to school to obtain a master's degree. Something about my undergraduate studies put this negative emotion in my head about more education. I wanted to work and make a living, not study for more tests and write more papers. <laughs> Yet, after four years and three cities later, I found myself struggling to find a path that I could claim as my own. I wanted to make a change. My parents always urged me to find a passion that I loved. As they say, if you do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. This quote really hit home when my parents were visiting me here from Michigan, and we went on a wine tour in Temecula. Our guide explained to us that this was a career change for her. She left her marketing job in the East Coast to pursue her love of wine here. My parents insisted on that day to begin listing interests and think about pursuing one of them. Thanks to my father, I'm named Brooks after a Hall of Fame baseball player. So sports naturally came to mind first. I tried to think of ways I could impact the baseball or golf industry. But the only thing that came to mind was becoming a sports agent. Even then, I couldn't imagine myself representing A-list athletes negotiating multi-million dollar contracts. So, I turned to healthcare. It was my passion for working with people and providing some level of care that helped me narrow my focus to this industry. Healthcare administration seemed like a natural fit for me, and I was very excited when I found the MPH program here at National University. I remember being warned by some of my friends that were interested in National about the unique one class a month schedule, which is definitely daunting. Fast paced can seem like an understatement, especially for subjects like health information systems and epidemiology, a common theme today. I can re relate this feeling similar to baptism by fire. <laughs> the best way to understand is to just get in there and figure it out as you go. It was not long before I realized that this program has inevitably made me a better individual. It has been a never-ending cycle of quizzes, tests, papers, group projects, class discussions, solo presentations, all things molding me into a stronger version of myself. It is constantly placing us in scenarios outside our comfort zone, like this one for me today. If someone asked me last year if I would be speaking at an event, I, would have, I wouldn't have believed them. But this uncomfortable environment can push us to perform at our peak, assist our growth, and create powerful experiences that can be used in the future, a framework to be a successful leader. In closing, I wanted to sincerely congratulate all of those who have found their career path. And to those who haven't yet, never stop pursuing the things you love. Keep the fire inside you. Keep improving yourself, because it is you who will make an impact in the lives of others one day. And it is you who is the hope for healthcare in the future. I would like to conclude with a quote from James Collins, the author of Good to Great, who said, Great vision without great people 
is irrelevant. 